Let's make this easy Cuban inspired casserole. Hi guys, welcome back to CJ's Keto Kitchen. My name is Sarah, and if you are looking for homestyle recipes made ketogenic, then you've come to the right channel. Tonight I'm going to be making a Cuban inspired casserole, and it is going to be keto Cuban casserole. So come along with me and let's get started. So if you are unfamiliar with a Cuban sandwich, it was created in Florida, and of course everyone has an idea of where in Florida that was. Some people say Tampa, some people say Miami, some people say the Florida Keys. Regardless, it is a Cuban-inspired sandwich that has pulled pork, ham, Swiss cheese, mustard, and pickles, and it is usually pressed in a panini. But this casserole is going to have all of those flavors without the bread. It is very easy and you're going to love it. Let me show you what you will need. To begin our recipe, you are going to need to preheat your oven to 400 degrees. So you are going to need about two pounds of pulled pork, pork roast, shredded pork of some kind. Mine is leftover. Um, my mother gifted me with a very large pork roast because it is just her and she knew that our family could enjoy it. We did a slow cooker pulled pork recipe in the spring and I will link that in this video description if you want to know how to begin with an actual pork roast. But as I said, mine is leftover. There's also options at the grocery store for already cooked pulled pork in the deli. You're going to need also eight ounces of softened cream cheese, one cup of heavy cream. I'm going to be using a combination of mustards, both Dijon and yellow. You could use one or the other, but I'm going to be using both. I'm going to be using a little bit of citrusy garlic seasoning blend. This is a Cuban inspired seasoning. I have this linked in our Amazon favorites and it's less than $6 if you don't have a Trader Joe's nearby. I'm also going to be using a little salt and pepper. I'm going to be using pickles, dill pickles, and mine happen to be already sliced into hamburger dill chips, but you could use regular pickles and slice them yourself. You're going to need about eight ounces of diced ham. You could use lunch meat if you wanted and cut it into strips, but I'm able to find diced ham very easily at my grocery store. And as I stated, you need eight ounces. You are going to need eight ounces of shredded Swiss cheese. I can only find mine in block form, so I went ahead and grated my own. So you need eight ounces. So I'm going to go ahead and start incorporating the sauce that we just made into our shredded pork in my skillet. If you were going to do this in a baking dish, you could just do it in a similar fashion. You just wanna make sure that you're coating your pulled pork with your created sauce. I'm just going to dump everything in the center and then I'll start incorporating it. Works really well for leftover pork because it is going to uh, absorb your sauce very well because it will be a little bit drier and a little bit thirsty. I have never been to the areas of Florida where this is reputedly created, but I have had a Cuban sandwich before and I really enjoy the flavors in it. Okay, so we are almost combined. I am going to go ahead and add half of my Swiss cheese at this point. So as I said before, this is eight ounces and I'm going to put in about four. I am just going to incorporate our cheese in with our pork beer. Okay, now 
I am just going to smooth this out evenly on the bottom of my skillet. If you were doing this in a baking dish, you would do likewise and you would smooth it out. So the next ingredient that we are going to add is our cubed ham. Ham is, of course, a very traditional ingredient for a Cuban sandwich. Some regions do use salami, and if you wanted to use salami instead, or in addition to, you absolutely could. But I'm going to be using ham, and I'm just going to sprinkle it evenly on top. So I got the idea to create this casserole because CJ and I are big Food Network fans and we were watching Guy Fieri and he does diners, drive-ins and dives and he went to a Cuban restaurant. And I thought, I've never made a Cuban casserole and I think I'm overdue for that. So here it's going to be. I'm now going to put the rest of my Swiss cheese on top of the ham. Okay, the last step before we pop it into the oven is pickles. Pickles are extremely traditional in the Cuban sandwich. I love pickles. If you don't like pickles, you don't have to put them on, but you'll be missing out. So I'm just going to take these and I'm going to put them evenly on the top of my casserole. And you can do this in any way that you would like. You can even get the big slices if you prefer. I know they make like sandwich stacking pickles. <clears throat> All right, so there it is. And we are going to put this lovely creation into the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. That's going to heat everything through and it's also going to give us a nice pretty broiled top. I will probably put mine on broil for about a minute at the end of the cooking time because that's usually what I do with my casseroles. I am using my cast iron skillet, which I absolutely love. I do have a silicone handle here on mine for heat. Of course, there isn't one here. I know they do make them that way, but I usually just take mine out with a hot pad. I'm still going to use a hot pad after this has gone for a ride in the oven. But I just want you to be aware if you're going to be using a skillet for this recipe, you are going to be very careful when you take it out of the oven so you don't burn yourself. So once again, it's 400 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, it is ready to come out of the oven. Again, remember your skillet is very hot if you're using a cast iron skillet. Okay, there it is. My PSA for every casserole is to let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes before you try and serve it. What is that? So equal parts mayonnaise, Dijon mustard and a little bit of pickle juice. I think the sauce is a good touch. If we were, if this was a sandwich, you would have the mustard and all that as part of the toppings for the sandwich. Right. It's built into our casserole. But a little extra sauce is always good. Sauce on the side. Yes. Yes. Okay, here it is, our delicious keto Cuban casserole. All right, looks delicious. And let's see how it tastes. Okay. I think the sauce is a good touch. Hmm. Good flavors. Believe it or not, I probably could use more pickles. And that's why I put them on the table. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um. Good flavor, nice and different for people. I've never had a Cuban sandwich, I don't think. Okay. So I don't really have anything to compare it to, but it is a good way to utilize leftover pork or pork, 
pork that you just went to the store and purchased for this type of recipe. I think people will like it. I do like the sauce. So I don't know if we can put that as part of the recipe. Yes, I can. But I, I think the sauce is good too. Good. Thanks, baby. Bye. Yeah, bye.